Nuyoma remembered vividly about that fateful day of the Kasinga massacre where majority of women and children were killed by the South African Defense Force who attacked a Swapo base at Kasinga in southern Angola. At the time of the attack, Nuyoma was in New York, but he was informed and immediately rushed to the scene. By that time, I was in New York in the United Nations. I uh, received the information, then immediately I took the plane back to Angola. And then when I arrived, many of our people were already in the hospitals, in all the hospitals in Angola. So we uh, then planned Some of our comrades we, who were seriously wounded, we sent them to the German Democratic Republic, GDR. Um, they were hospitalized there. Some of them went to Cuba. Those are the most countries where we have sent our, our wounded comrades. He says it was not easy to liberate Namibia from the yoke of colonialism. Today, all citizens are free in an independent Namibia and they have now a responsibility to ensure that every Namibian child attends school and complete their tertiary education. At that time, there was a bad education here, an inferior education specially designed for, for the indigenous people. For example, there was education for minority whites, education for colors, and education, bad education for, for indigenous Namibian, especially black people, <laughs> to, to be taught how inferior they are to the minority whites. Namibians have still a role to play in ensuring that peace and stability exist among the people under the banner of One Namibia, One Nation. Responding to a question about government's plan to erect a monument at Kasinga in remembrance of those who died there, the founding president has this to say. Yes, they plan us there to elect a, a monument in memory of our comrades who sacrificed during the enemy attack at Kasinga. We will never forget them. We will ever remember them. And we also thank the Angolan government for assisting us. Because I recall President, uh, President Agustin Neto, the first president of the Republic of Angola, he did his level best to ensure that uh, our children are taken to Kwanza Sur, a more safer place, very close to, to Rwanda. And uh, the situation, the, the, the struggle continued, and the victory is certain. He also urged Namibians to go in large numbers and pay their respects and tribute at the commemoration. For NBC News, Tanatenish Chile, Oshakati.